very soft lah. Right, so they really thoroughly penetrated, penetrated. <laughs> Good morning, welcome. I don't know him. To Food Finders KL Edition. Hey. <laughs> you hijacked my show, bro. Yeah. Welcome to Food Finders. This is Wilson. So, yep. Wilson is from Places and Food.com. You want to introduce yourself? Basically, I started as a food and travel blog for more than 10 years. Now, I do more on travel, but I still do my food blog in KL and in various parts of Asia. Do you review a lot of food in KL or Malaysia, or is more Asia, Asia? More Asia. I just came oh, back yeah. from Singapore. Oh, today. yes. I <laughs> came back from Singapore. Who has better food? For Street food, I think Malaysia, Malaysia got better food. But certain key dishes, I think Singapore still slightly better, like yeah. chicken rice. Mm. Singapore. Okay, so we're going to check out a few spots in KL. Yeah. The first spot is right behind us. Uh, where, where are we, uh, Wilson? We are at Monkey Seafood at Happy Garden. So we are here to try this volcano curry. curry. House. Hey, why, why is this popular? Well, I guess they added a lot of ingredients and it looks uh. like a shape of volcano and then okay. it went viral on social media. So it's the first who actually created uh. this uh, trending okay. volcano curry meat. There's uh, more than 10 ingredients inside the curry meat. 10 ingredients. The food is here. Wow, this is crazy big yeah. I think boss said this is for two people, right? Yeah, I, two don't, people. I don't think two people can be this. I think it's uh, very nice of him to also throw in the yam cake. Maybe let's try the yam cake first. Wow, hey, very siang. The topping is very siang. It's the... really immense in flavor. La. You see the yam is like cow cow. Mm. I don't know, I, I like it softer. It feels like it's, it's more yam than cake. It would be nicer if it's a bit softer. I really like the fried salad. Singapore go. Mm. Ah. Normally our yam cake don't have so many topping ones. That's just the side show. Main show is here. So got siu yolk, this uh, cuttlefish, yep. uh, mussels, wow, a lot of ham. Yep. Lala, Lala also got. Mm. I think I saw char siu, Char siu, right? this one char siu. Hey, look at this man. This is like this fish is fillet. This piece takeaway. of fish. I this sketch, yeah, the tortoka looks uh, quite raw. That's the best, yo. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, coconut milk, very creamy, right? Mm. I actually get a lot of the mint, though. A lot of flavor of that is going into the soup. I think this is like easily for four packs, right? For the price, is this is like very good. Really, really. Oh, I like the fish, though. Very nice, right? Very fresh. Sabo, sabo. They will make you eat, ah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fish. I thought all fish come from the sea. No? Under the sea. I think the uh, the sauce is quite okay. The ingredients, I think, is a bit too much. Uh. Definitely too much for two people. Siu yolk here is crispier than the mm. one in Singapore, right? Malaysia siu yolk standard is very high. Now what siu yolk not as good. Well, you're now in front of me, my toe will definitely get you. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not bad, but it's not like what wow, super like the best curry I've tried. Also lah, the most unique selling point of this place is really the generous amount of ingredient lah. Mm. Then they stack it until like like a volcano lah. Like ah, uh, that's why it's called a volcano curry me. 3.5 maybe. Tastes not that bad. Average yeah, yeah. presentation is nice. I will give it a three ah. I, I I I I would think this is average tasting. Uh, but it makes for very good Instagram and TikTok lah. Yes. The chef is very very friendly lah. So you know, I really like that. That's it for this volcano curry me. So we're gonna move off to the next spot, Transition. So normally in Food Finders, I, uh, of course I will be driving. Uh, but today, we actually have our editor, producer, Alice, who is actually driving us in her in her car in Malaysia. Yeah. So we get to enjoy as the, uh, the guests being chauffeured. Got a bit of a fake taxi vibe. <laughs> We are now mm. on the way to ICC. ICC. Udu. This place is quite interesting because previously there's a Imbi market mm. and it was demolished for development. Most of these popular food stalls from the Indian market move to ICC Kudu, which is an entire new building. Over 100 stalls and vendors. More than 100 stalls. Why, why did they demolish Indian market? TRX. Oh, TRX. Yeah. Tun Raza Exchange. Capitalism is the only way. This is ICC Kudu. Okay, let's go. Bro. Let's go, let's go. Okay, which food you want to try first? I think the uh, Jiyong We bought so much. This is the Ah Fu, the Malaysian style of uh, Yong Dao Fu. And Jiyong Fan is a bit different from Singapore. You don't normally get actually Jiyong Fan with Yong Dao Fu. No, you don't. Jiyong Fan is Jiyong Fan. Yong Dao Fu, Yong Dao Fu. Okay, time to try. 
Guy is very light though. It's actually quite nice. Uh. Quite nice, right? I mean, if it's from some factory, this is actually quite good. Uh. First of all, disclaimer. I'm not sure whether they make their own chicken fan. Quite smooth, very soft. Uh, I like the sauce too. Did they fry this? On the spot, yeah. On the spot. Yeah, they yeah, keep on frying uh, because it's like... Ah, okay, okay. Up. So it's not like you pick already, then they fry. No, la. no, no. no. Uh, I think this is unique. Corn, your top. This just looks like they just take random vegetable, then they some some fish yeah, paste but I haven't seen and this. stick it together. Broccoli, fish paste, yang tao fu. They got like broccoli plus fish paste, then they got corn plus fish paste. Let me just try broccoli with fish paste. Uh. So I feel like the paste don't have much. The strong flavor, right? Yeah, much flavor to it. I think depending on which yang tao fu you choose. Uh. Okay, moving on. I, I would... 3.5 uh, um, on account that is a unique dish to me but yeah. I wasn't a fan of the base but the chi jong fan was nice there's some things I like some things that like. you yeah, don't like yeah. in this place not like wow everything is good so generous for uh, oh, generous for uh. moving on meng chao meng chao kai bao literally yellow wine chicken bun for la for the Malaysian will do the ordering Originally, we wanted to try the yellow wine chicken bun. However, they were very convincing in selling us more bun. I think this one got some soup inside, if I'm not wrong. Okay, bun cheers. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, try it. Can you speak English? I thought it would be like a xiao long, xiao long bao kind of thing. Yeah, I thought it would be burst out. It's more like a char siu bao, that kind of feeling. The mushroom inside, definitely chicken. There's a lot of ginger. The taste of the wine is not that strong also, right? It's like, like, you can identify that it's wine. You mm. don't get like that. Wow! I, I like the feeling, it's very interesting. So it looks like they steam, then they pan fry yeah, to get like a pan fried surface. While we were there, they also well, must try the, the liu sha pao and the cha siu bao. Hey, this one confirmed burst one. Uh. Uh. Okay, it came out from the other side. Unexpected. One, two, one, two three. Oh, it's Considering good. the price is cheap, it's good. I think this tastes quite, quite good. It's very creamy actually, the liu sha. This is really good, this is really good. I quite like it. Hey, this cha cha bao is too big already. Right? That's what she said. Okay, you ready, bud? The taste better when it's warm. Mm, yeah, I thought the bun could be softer. Softer. I always love there's some small parts of fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, so this is a bit too lean. I always like it like there's a bit of fat. So the texture mm. is like... I like the Lusa Pao. I like the yellow wine chicken bun. Pasta Pao was meh. I'll give it a 4 actually. 3.5? Yeah, I like the salt one. Yeah, yeah the Lusa really... Pao was good. Uh, like this one, I felt the feeling is not enough. But I do like this. I give it a 4. The sense on 3.5 star. Let's move on. And Nasi Lemak. According to the sign, they don't sell just ordinary Nasi Lemak. Who my Pu Tong Ye Jiang Fan. So this must be extraordinary. I'm not sure. Let's go and try it. Hello. Nasi Lemak Yi Pan. Here we got an nasi lemak. She recommended me to get two. Is it pig skin and nasi lemak? Is that normal? No, it's no it's right. So this is a sambar, right? So it's a fried egg, and then she added a bit of a uh, mutton curry. Let's try the rice first. Sambar. Not good enough, sambar. I, I still prefer those like cow sambar. This one's like it's not spicy enough. It's not sweet enough. Not a very good representation of oh, Malaysian like nasi lemak against a Singapore nasi lemak. But I like the chubby, but the the gravy itself is not something super unique. Well. I would say three point five, slightly not normal, but not like a very different nasi lemak. How's your nasi lemak standard? Generous two point five. Oh, generous is two point five. Yeah. So sweet. The sambal doesn't have a kick. The yeah. curry is nice. The pixin curry is nice. Okay, so that is uh, Wilson's rating. Let's move on to the last thing we are going to try here. Pisang goreng liang jia. So this is the imbi kui bakul, right? Which is like a nian kao, and then you have the pisang goreng. Okay, try. Uh, it's just quite the better fight, the uh, quite crispy. Right? Yeah. Okay, ready, go. Okay, banana yes. just. Okay. I like the batter. I somehow just don't like the banana. It's not very ripe. Really. In Malaysia, they usually use less ripe oh, yeah. banana. The it's banana. not soft enough, right? That's why I also thought like, you know, if it's riper, you also by right be a bit softer. Okay. We're gonna try the kueh bakul. Mm. So three layers. We have the sweet potato. We got nian kao. And this is a yam. I like it. This one good. This one very soft. This is a very Chinese thing, but somehow in, Malaysia, in KL, there's a demand for it. I like that they actually fry the nian kao until it's very, uh, it's very soft. La. Right, so they really thoroughly penetrated. penetrated. <laughs>
I think like just based on this, I'll give it a 4 stars. Uh. I, I'm not sure whether I can find a 5 in KL. Okay. Roo, 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 roo. I think okay if they don't sell the pisang goreng, uh, I will probably give it a 4.5. Banana kind of dragged it down for me yeah. a bit. But still, to find something that's better than yeah. this, it's, it's really hard. So you give 4. 4.5, 4. So I see Kudo, there's still one more store that we need to go to. So let's go. Tong, tong, tong. Originally, we just wanted to try the coffee, but the, the cartos looks damn good actually. So, have to try it. Uh, you see the butter, wow, see they thick. Yeah. Strange, we are at the car park eating kaya toast. This is very fine because you see the. Piece yeah, there's so butter. much butter. Is it much? Yeah, yeah. Is it much? Toast, toast, toast. I really like how they slice the bread. And how thin is the bread? Yeah, but it's not toasted until like super hard. crispy. Uh, super hard also. Uh, super hard is not good also. It's a good balance. The tire is very strong also. Back to the car. Come on, uh. let's show people how you swallow. <laughs> oh. Uh, come, I try coffee. Tainan and coffee. coffee, it actually comes with tea as well. No, actually inside the coffee got tea. Oh, oh so the it's something like a chum. The coffee. Oh, it's like a chum. Uh. A lot of people say it's overrated. Coffee is quite strong, but it's not like overly bitter also. Yep, it it's just sun. I, mean, I, I, I do like almond go. The toast. The, the toast coffee, is awesome, man. It's, a, it's very simple for breakfast. Yeah, I will give it a 4.5. Yeah, I will give it a 4.5. Oh, you know, I'm gonna like to build a lot of highways. Highway everywhere. A few layers one. Eh. Wow, they go round and round. Quite scary. It looks, it looks like a maze. The Malaysia government yeah. love to build highways. It's very confusing even but, for locals. But why though? Like, why do you have a highway on top of a highway beside a highway? I I uh, you cannot go in the smart tunnel. Uh. Let him experience now the this smart is tunnel. Like a, what it, the smart tunnel? It's a very smart tunnel. So it actually holds the uh, the water from the river, so and to prevent flood. So they felt like okay, okay, let's monetize it. So on top, right, they uh. build a highway. So we call it a smart tunnel. Okay, so where are we, Wilson? We are at uh, Rasta TDDI. So this is a food court mm. with uh, lots of uh, Malay food, and it's all Malay food. Alice said that we need to try a few things here. So here we are at Rasta. Let's go and check out the food. Can I get one kway teow? Thank you. Alright. This store uses duck egg in their cha kway teow. Okay, so this is the quack. Is fried with duck egg. I like how they put a plastic so that don't have to wash the plate. I actually heard a rumor. I heard a rumor. This one unverified. Uh, the original store that was here uh, claims that after they moved away, this other store that is not related to them took up the same spot and used their name. So this is actually not the original quick tiao. <laughs> unverified. I'm not sure. Don't sue me. Uh, this one. So it says Chaco Walk Duck Egg. However, I also didn't really see any chaco la, I think. So did I, they use chaco to No, no yeah, I, I saw a guess. <laughs> we all know that cha kway teow usually come with pork lard. Right? Halal version, you can't do pork lard. They got ham not? No, hey, I... Go la, go, 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 go. Got hey. bean sprout, got prawn, got fish cake. The prawn normally is dish out already, la, so I don't know whether it's a... Usually Chinese version is dish out also. Yeah. One, two, three. One, three. Salty. Eh. Your, your, your side salty, my side no taste. Eh. Okay, but like, I think having tofu in the cha kway teow is a minus point for me. Right? The egg also, like, not much. Uh. I feel like they need to use more egg. Uh. It just tastes like soy sauce. Eh. Like, no wok hey. Definitely no wok hey. La. It doesn't give you that the mm. cha kway teow fragrance. Let me be honest, like, I tried a few cha kway teow in Singapore. Easily better than this. Even Singapore one better than this. Uh. The, the style is quite different uh, for Singapore yeah, yeah, true, one, right? True. Singapore is like a bit sweeter. But in terms of flavor, this one is like yeah, borderline. Very, uh. very mad. Yeah, yeah. What would you rate this? 2.5, generous. Wow, generous 2.5. I will give it a 2. Uh. No, I it's think it's below, below average. I think it's below, below average. average. Okay, so don't try this. Uh, the reason why people use dark egg mm -hmm. for cha kway teow yeah. is the fragrance of the yeah. egg. Enhance the flavor of the cha kway teow. Mm. But it doesn't Anything taste like they use, use dark, yeah, dark egg. egg. Yeah. Like hopefully the next item will be better. We will let the producer it. and the videographer finish this. So this is the famous uh, restaurant Ayam Gepok. It's famous for their spicy chicken. So this is my first time actually trying this. Let's check it out guys.
all the way to Rasta TDDI to taste this. Uh, this one you order one? Eh? There are four levels of chili. Okay. This is a spicy, uh. one step lower than the spiciest. Yeah. But on first look, honestly, it looks very sad. We have a lot of doubts uh, in our mind, but apparently this is quite famous. We, we give it the benefit of the doubt. This one needs to... Oi, not bad, not bad. Oh, we will power through. Okay, let's go. Mm. Oh, spicy, spicy. Oh, like that way. Like oh, regret! Eat water! But I like how fresh you know the chilies are la. I really get a lot of the flavor. Okay, the chicken is not bad. Eh? Yeah, ch chicken is very tender. Chicken is nice. It's a very ugly looking chicken. <laughs> but it tastes really good. Crispy skin, tender meat. If you really like spicy, totally up your alley la. This is like not even the, the highest level. I think basically people who love this will actually eat the chili with the rice. Put together with the chicken. I can yeah, imagine yeah. if you mix it, yeah, it will yeah, taste mix it around, more, so it's like... better. But if you don't take spicy, this becomes torture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you can only eat the white rice and fried chicken. Which is a bit plain. Three, uh, I think best I can manage. The... As generous I am, I give 2.5. Rasta, a bit disappointing. Let's head back to the car to summarize what we've tried today. Transition. Shoom. Whoa. I think Rasta was a bit disappointing. This just be fair. Our taste palette is different. The, palette. the food here is more for different audience. They like mm. spicy. They never try actual char kway teow. So I think cool. the best place is still ICC Budo. I think there's more options. More also options. La. My mm. favorite is Yong Tau Fu, mm. but I picked the wrong Yong Tau Fu, so it could be better with non-veggie uh, Yong Tau Fu. I just quite like the pao. I feel like if you just buy there and you eat immediately, it will be quite good. The Lusa pao especially. I quite like the uh, coffee also. Ah, what's the name? Ah? Ah, Wingo. The coffee and the toast. I mean, it's very basic items, mm. but I think they do it very well. That's the reason why they've been yep. selling that for over 50 years. So I think this episode we tried to find a bit more around KL, KL yep. kind of foods. Food. We visited some of these like very popular, I think popular on social media. La. We come and verify is it really good or not. I do feel like PJ has a bit better food. The food in KL feels more like spread out. One area in KL, mm. like where where would you go? City centre, you know, uh, yeah, Chinatown China itself. Kudu. Probably need to do a, a bit more research on this. You know, for any viewers watching us, do leave a comment mm. on where you think is good to eat in KL. Last question, Malaysian what? food or Singapore food better? Wow, if it's based, based on, on the this, food today. Oh. Hey, based on today's food, uh, cannot, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think you'll have a fair fight. K Oh, hey producer, think, why do this to me? Oh, if we have a traitor producer from Malaysia, <laughs> how much chef pay you? Yeah. Three times, you know. This comes to the end of this episode in KL together with Wilson from Places and Food. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for watching this. Please remember like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, any suggestions, leave it in the comments as well. If you like Wilson, please let us know also. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. Till next time. Your change prime minister like change underwear. Yeah. Singapore <laughs> need to follow you. Yeah. If not, you become like Mahathir. <laughs>